It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm at War Pigs in Copenhagen with this man, Peter the Master of the Hobbits. Awesome, awesome to be here. My first time in Copenhagen, really excited. Tell me about this bar, Peter. So, well, it's a brew pub. So War Pigs is the collabor collaborative effort between uh, Three Floyds in the States and Mickler in Denmark. And they made this brew pub, they have a small uh, 1,000 liter system and they do all the beers here, you know. We're having two beers that are brewed in-house. Uh, and the big thing that they're known for is that they do proper American barbecue, um, Texas style. So salt, pepper, smoked over oak. It smells terrific. I mean, yeah. I, I ate loads of stuff on the plane, so I'm okay for a minute. I'm happy. What did you get? I'm, I'm really happy to get a beer. Ooh. Your beer looks terrific. What you got there? So I got one of their more famous beers called Frank the Tank. Uh, it's their pale ale, hazy New England pale ale. I think it started off not being hazy, but gravitated to more towards this. Uh, I think it's like 4.8, 4.7%. So yeah, 4.8. And I have a Vizen. It's Iron Dice. Iron Dice Vizen at 5.4% ABV. Yeah. The reason why I chose a Vizen, um, I've learned to love this style of beer over time. And you know what, I've been traveling all day. I've been, I've been eight hours jerking around, flying around. You know where your head's all over the place on a plane. So I just wanted something to settle me, settle me it's down. It's a perfect beer for that. Absolutely. So shall we cheers to Cheers to, cheers to a great weekend in Copenhagen and Sweden. And we're Sweden. Going to Helsingborg, to Brewski. We're going to the Brewski Vault with Brewski Brewery after after the few beers here. <laughs> yeah. Mine's amazing. Mine's amazing. But you're you're a guest on my channel, so so you talk about ahead. the beer, Peter. Well, was really Get it nice. up to the camera. Well, there you see. Very nice looking, hazy yellow. It looks like a very nice, dank, bright pale ale, and it is. Like there's some dankness, there's a lot of pineapple for me as well. A little bit of a drying, hop character, like a, you can taste it super fresh, just freshly made, straight from the brewery. You have a little bit of that dry, almost hop palette thing, but it's just a little bit, it's not too much. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, loads of pineapple and dankness for me. Also some more, it's really nice. Orange, orange, and, and so refreshing. Yeah. Just keep getting that waffle. I wish you had smell of vision here. The barbecue the, the was The barbecue nice. is just terrific. Oh. What are you getting on the iron dice? That if you brought me this out and I didn't know where I was, I would say you've brought me out an authentic German Weizen. It's just authentic it German, is so authentic. good quality, smashable. It's my perfect first beer for, for being traveling all day on planes and trains and automobiles. And yeah, so it's, it's great to have a Weizen. It, good mouthfeel, crisp. Juicy, refreshing. The mouthfeel on it is really good. I had Amazing. one yesterday, it's super slick. And as you say, it feels like a real authentic, proper vice beer. Like the, the super well known ones like Schneider and Weinstefana. Like, yeah. It, it took me by surprise because a lot of breweries that try to do the vice beers that are not from Germany, they end up having these kind of watered down versions. That's like full on, proper traditional vice beer. But Absolutely. one of their breweries is also German. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So we've probably been brought up brewing this style. I think so. Oh, I think he said he trade. worked with uh, Rothaus in uh, Schwarzwald. They're yeah. quite famous for Pilsners. But, uh, uh, that's great. Lots of banana. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've got, this is day one. I've just arrived. It's 25 degrees here. It's 80% humidity. Um, it's a beautiful day to, to be doing some reviews. Peter, tell me about, um, this used to be an old butchery. Tell me a little bit about the history of this place. So, the whole area here is called the meatpacking district because this is where all the butchers were in the meat markets. So back in the day, this was where you go get your meat for both restaurants and people and local people and whatnot. And you can see inside all the white tiles. You know that's the old butchery design they kept yeah. in there. So it's a historic place, and most of this area called Kultur in the meatpacking district is now like restaurants. You get a feel for that. You definitely, if you if you if you looked around and and. and you can see the you see it has some industrial history. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's definitely, definitely industrial. Um, what I'll do, I'll just quickly spin the camera around for everybody to see. Of course. Uh, you want me to get it? Oh, you got it. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to give a bit of commentary, Peter. So yeah, this is the this is the, the meat district, as it was. You definitely get a feel for that old industrial buildings. It's really cool out there. There's people out. These, these people are enjoying themselves. Yes, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'm yeah. having a great time. Um, 
Okay, that, that about wraps it up for me. Vizen for me, absolutely stellar. Nine out of ten Vizen. What do you think of the pale ale? Nine out of ten pale ale. Absolutely awesome terrific. beer. Yeah, great beers to start on. So they're also not so strong. Peter, cheers, Simon. It's gonna be a great weekend. Stone the crows, my friend. Stone the crows. Cheers.